Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Gung Fu Banda and Jadong, an Iron Fortress, the latter edition. This is game one of their best of three series from the round of 32 group stage, and this is the winner's match. So both of these players won a couple of games, and they're playing against each other right now in a best of three. And it's a PvZ, so I'm really excited, and let's get right on into it. In the top left of Iron Fortress, the latter edition, we have the Red Protoss player, Gung Fu Banda. Now, Gung Fu Banda is a 16-year-old German player who's made quite a name for himself in the StarCraft world. <laughs> I guess we can say that. Again, he is Protoss. He is from Germany. He recently uh, has competed in a uh, German Summer Season 2015 series, as well as a Spring 2015, and at the same time here at WCS 2015 Season 2 at the same time. On January 13th, 2015, according to Liquidpedia, he tried to bribe his way to a win in the 2015 WCS qualifiers, and for this, Blizzard just decided to suspend him from 2015 WCS Season 1. So he did qualify in the following season, and that's why he's here now. So again, a really solid young player, really excited to see what he can do in this PBZ. In the bottom left of Iron Fortress, the latter edition, we have the Blue Zerg player, Jadong. Now, Jadong likely needs no introduction whatsoever. He is 25 years old, so he has about a 9-year advantage here on Gung Fu Banda. And he recently has taken first place in the World Esports Championships 2014, held last September. He also went ahead and took first place in the 2013 ASUS uh, NorthCon. That was held in December of that year, uh, beating Scarlet in that particular match. So, I mean, he's won $10,000, $24,000 here and there. Just winning's been all over the place for Jadong. He's been around for a really, really long time and just a fantastic player. One of my favorite Zergs to cast and to watch. So what are we doing here in the Protoss base? Pretty much nothing right now. I forget it's a Heart of the Swarm match. I'm really used to Legacy of the Void at this point. And I mean, we don't even have... I guess we are going Nexus first, though, for Gung Fu Banda. All right. So he's not afraid of Jadong. He is going to go for that Nexus first. And then head out with the probe and see what's going on. Jadong, for his money, has gone for a hatchery first as well. Perhaps he knows that Gung Fu Banda likes to go for these macro openers. And as a result, is going to go for that 15 hatch. Not worrying about cannons. We're now seeing a gateway here from Gung Fu Banda. And where's the spawning pool for Jadong? We have enough money for it. Uh, is he going to get gas first? Is he waiting for something else? I don't know what the strategy is right now for our Blue Zerg player. But regardless, oh, it's a third base. Okay, so Jadong going three hatch before pool against Gung Fu Banda. I don't know if this is a disrespect play or what. Maybe he's like, hey kid, welcome to the neighborhood. I'm going to go three hatch before you do anything. And even before he scouted, I mean, here comes the Overlord. He sees this Nexus now. He recognizes this was a Nexus first play from Gung Fu Banda, but he didn't know that at the time. I mean, he didn't know that until just a couple seconds ago. So for him to go three hatch, then go into pool and into gas, is just incredibly confident. He feels like he can do this against the Protoss player and not be punished for it whatsoever. And so far, it looks like he's right. Gung Fu Banda is getting double gas at this point, throwing down a Cybernetics Core clear at the back of his base. It might be hiding it. I'm not entirely sure. This probe doing a good job scouting, but not going to throw down any pylons, try to fake out Jadong. He recognizes that probably is just a waste of resources. There's not much reason to do that whatsoever. The Overlord checking out the Zelda Watchtower cannot take it because it's a flying unit. But here, just uh, basically revealing the giant swarm signal or swarm logo here on the center of this map. It is a good omen for Zerg players. We'll have to see if it helps Jadong here today. Good spot here for this Overlord. I don't know if that is actually seen. Uh, no, that cannot be spotted, I guess, from this distance. We'll have to see if a Stalker gets over here or something, but I have to imagine Jadong parked here for a reason. I think it's probably because the Protoss player cannot see it. The probe's heading out for some shenanigans. I'm not sure if it's going to throw down a proxy pylon, maybe some Stargates, or something nux like that, because we have not seen the tech of choice from Gung Fu Banda just yet. Uh, I mean, we have the Cyber Core. We have a lot of gas coming on in now, up to 50 gas at this point. Did use some of it on the Warp Gate research on the Cybernetics Core. But what is this probe going to do? That is going to be the question for this game. The three bases are now up for Jadong getting queens at every single one of these bases. Getting plus one uh, melee attack, actually, for Jadong. Interestingly enough, a couple of lings trying to scout up, but there's a zealot here. There's a mothership core that's going to make those lings head on back. Two lings is not quite enough to make things happen. Now scouting out. All right, this is really smart. If your lings can't get through that front door as a Zerg player, scout around. See what you can find. Take sound like a watchtower's. Look for proxy pylons, look for proxy tech that might be coming up from your Protoss opponent. And here we go. Okay, two more gateways. So a gateway play. 
a lot of gateways actually coming up. Is this going to be a two base, like seven gate? Man, I have a feel like we've seen that for a long time in Heart of the Swarm, and a player like Jadong should be able to handle that fairly easily. So I'm kind of surprised to see this happening from Gung Fu Banda. But here comes the pylon. Is this Zergling going to scout it? Is the question. The progression likely will lead up further north. And we might actually find it before it's too late. But is this just a forward pylon? Is that what this is? More Lings coming on out. The speed just about to finish. The plus one attack just about to finish. A little bit of aggression coming out from Gung Fu Panda across the map here with a Mothership Core and with a Zealot and a Stalker. So smart move. This is what you like to do as Protoss. Just kind of get in the way and try to bother the Zerg player. Force him to create Lings when he'd rather be making workers and you'll be on a good way to beating that Zerg player. Another pylon coming up from Gung Fu Panda. Couple of queens here and a bunch of lings. Can we get a surround on that stalker is going to be the question. Speed is just about to finish and gets the surround anyway, even without speed. Taking down the stalker, taking down the zealot immediately, but warping in stalkers with that forward pylon. We need more lings. The lings do have speed. That's going to help a lot against this. Yeah, it's basically a seven gate attack here from Gung Fu Banda. Making stalkers, making zealots. I assume some sentries are going to come in here as well. Trying to snipe down that mothership cord would be a nice pickup. But no, it does not. Warping in units from everywhere. So many forward pylons from Gung Fu Banda. And here we go. I mean, maybe he's trying to take Jadong a little bit uh, by surprise here with this 7 gate. Not something you usually see. Going to town on this third base. There's really nothing to handle it. Here come some Lings coming from the north, coming from the south. Getting a surround on the Stalkers. I don't know if there's enough, but there's a lot of Zealots here to deal with these Lings as well. The ones in the bottom do get taken down. But these Zealots holding their own with some Stalker support. The Queens are still alive, trying to get rid of these Stalkers, but they do refuse to die. And here we go. 36 Lings in production, though, for Jadong. Popping on out, trying to make themselves into a bigger unit and trying to take down smaller groups of Protoss army just because, you know, if they try to take this huge ball, they'll probably end up dead. But a lot of drones have died here. Four drones have died for Jadong. Still 33 to 34. This is basically an all-in play from Gung Fu Banda. If he can win this, if he can kill Jadong with this push, he'll be in a really good spot to win this game. But if not, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Nothing being produced at all for Gung Fu Banda right now. Zealot getting surrounded. A bunch of uh, speedlings swinging on in here again. But I think the number of Zealots is just enough to take this down. The Lings do have that plus one attack, which is really useful for the seven gate type of aggression. This base is still alive somehow. I don't know exactly how that is happening for Jadong, but it certainly is. Again, the Zealots in the front are dying, but they're taking so many Lings with them, allowing the Stalkers to do the DPS from the back. We're pretty much trying to deal with this with straight Ling. We are not going to Roaches at all. I think Jadong does have a lair. Did he cancel that lair? I think he canceled the lair when it was clear what this was. And again, all three Queens are still alive. Transfuse is being used liberally by Jadong very intelligently, but chasing everybody all the way back. 20 more Lings in production. Again, this base is somehow still alive. These drones are running away. I'm not sure exactly where they're trying to hide, but marching right up into the front base is Gung Fu Banda. This is not where you want your Protoss opponent to be, is at your front door. Forced to pull drones off the line. They are getting massacred by these Zealots. The Stalkers in the back are largely untouched. 20 Lings, 22 Lings, in production for Jadong, but that's it. Jadong calls the GG, and he is defeated here in game number one against Gung Fu Banda. So well played there by our Protoss player. The seven gate against the three hatch before pool kind of caught Jadong by surprise. He was getting a lair. He didn't have any roaches to deal with this. He didn't have the number of lings possible to deal with the constant stream of stalkers and zealots as well, and that was it. So, woo, pretty intense little game there. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another Daily Blizzard upload. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you heard and what you saw today. You can catch me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.